What up, guys? Kevin here. And we got to talk. Yes, it's almost 2024. This game's been out for months. And we still got to talk about Starfield. 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 Um, I don't know why I'm doing that, but... Um, yeah, there's... T- <laughs> one game, one die. Starfield, go away. Get. Get out of here. Get off my lawn. I'm done talking about you, but timeline's blowing up because the recent reviews have been mostly negative. What? What? Now, the Steam version, I can speak towards the Steam version. That is the game I played for 15 hours. Didn't have any bugs. I mean, it was a Bethesda game, but I didn't have like any bugs. It was like the least buggiest game I played. Now, again, I'm only speaking to my experience. I did get bored, but it was a game I didn't really commit to because there was a million other games coming out. Um, and from what I understand, the more you put into this game or the more like you make this game your own, the more it gives back. Um, but people say it's boring. I can agree with that if you played it the way I played it and you want to explore everywhere. Uh, loading screens, which I played on Steam, and I have a nice, beefy NVMe SSD in 990. And I don't know, I would have to go back and play it, but I don't remember <laughs> any loading screens giving me an issue. So, what gives? A game that's been out since uh, late August and got trashed. It's all been out there. Everything bad about this game has been litigated. That's the thing. This game has been litigated. At this point, you're just going, oh, I want to play this game and hate it. (laughs) You're going in to hate the game. It doesn't work that way. So something's up with Starfield. Now... Some people are saying, well, the game's finally on sale for like, I don't know, 45 bucks. I'm like, yeah, that'll get people to buy it. But again, those are the same people that have a good understanding of what they're getting. (laughs) Um, If you were to try to, if you were to buy a game on PlayStation and try to refund it, and if you played it at all, even for five minutes, they will tell you, yeah, we're not giving you a refund. Next time, make sure you watch reviews and understand what you're getting. And yeah, with Steam, uh, (laughs) and when you buy the game, the reviews are right there mixed. You may not like the game. So what is going on? What is going on? I have a couple theories. I don't have the answer, but I'm pretty right about stuff. First thing... um, from what I understand, there are some big YouTubers who made videos, like a video, like a crazy video talking about why this game sucks. And I think that got a lot of people that draw a lot of traction to Steam to give it negative reviews. But you got to remember, <laughs> we got to remember here, Bethesda asked for this. They asked for the negative reviews because what did they do? They started responding to all the negative reviews on Steam. So, are you going to give a review going, yeah, it's okay. I like it. It's worth 45 bucks. No, you're going to give a negative review and hope, and hopefully be the one that Bethesda reaches out to and tell you you're wrong. That's what's going on, guys. <laughs> That's drawing a lot of negative reviews because there's people giving this game a negative review after putting hundreds of hours in, we're talking like 200, 300, 400, 800 hours. People like, oh, at the 800th hour going, oh yeah, this game sucks. I'm going to leave it a negative review. <laughs> I have never put that many hours into a game I don't like. I think the worst is Destiny 2. And that I've only put maybe 100 hours in. And I love the gameplay. I love the gameplay of Destiny 2. Um, I probably wouldn't give it a negative review. I would just say, um, love the gameplay, everything else, not for me. (laughs) I enjoy playing it with my friend. That's mainly why I played it, played it with my friend. Um, But Starfield, (laughs) this is so odd. Again, the game has been litigated. It's all out there. So all this negative reviews, something's up. Something is up. 
And it ain't hard for people to <laughs> it ain't hard for people to turn on the game and just leave it on and rack up, you know, hundreds of hours. I can see people doing it. But um I really do think it's that that's it. I think there was a couple videos. There were some videos just draw a lot of attention to the game and got people to go over to Steam to um basically review bomb it. And then of course Bethesda responding to all the negative reviews, that incentivizes people to leave a negative review because they want to be responded to. They want to go, hey look, hey look, Bethesda responded to my review. So I mean, look, there there's problems with the game. With the gameplay, my issue is these problems have been there since <laughs> uh, way back in the day, all the other Bethesda games. But in 2023, people woke up and went, oh, yeah, now there's an issue. Again, the game's not bad. The game is not bad. The game is definitely not less than an 8. Like, objectively, the game's not less than an 8. Um, what the game provides, I think that's the only issue with the game, is you gotta you got to concentrate on the good stuff. There's a lot of bad stuff, like just nothing planets where you do nothing. Um, the loading screens, I think that's just Xbox. And if you're PC, if you don't have like an NVMe SSD, um, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just very weird times in Starfield land. But, all right, it is, what is it, December 26th. January 1st, which is what, next Monday... Starfield is dead. I don't want to hear about Starfield ever again. Not until they do like an update or whatever. <laughs> but uh, we know we know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. All right, I got to go though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.